Welcome back, Acron fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be seeing Cron Aberrant versus Chitin. It's going to be on K4 Shrine, a map we have not seen in a very long time. So, Chitin is in the southeast corner of the map, and Cron Aberrant is in the northwest corner of the map, pausing at the very start just to set himself up. And, let's see, Chitin is getting himself going, so Chitin, I guess, we wanted to play green. Like screen, I suppose. And Cron Aberrant is going to be playing Grekum as well. So both players playing Grekum at cross positions on K4 Shrine, which is really a map we haven't seen in a long time. So let's go over it, I suppose. So main bases at all the corners, 4LC and 3QP in every corner base. And then there's expansions in the middle, smaller expansions, and an even smaller expansion along the middle at the edges. And at the very, very middle, there are eight LC crates. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot of paths going up and down the map. Like going down here and then up around here along these expansions. And a lot of paths as well. So a lot of winding paths, a lot of alternate paths that one can take through the map in order to get around. And we'll see how that turns out for the players. Crimer is setting himself up, getting his economy going, while Kaiden also getting his economy going. So neither player going for an all-in rush, which makes sense. Crimer or sorry, Titan sending his Akron over to the southwest and then the northwest. He will be finding Crown Aberrant later. Crown Aberrant, he's not sending his Akron out to scout yet at all. I think he's sending these Octos out, maybe? It's probably not. He had already put them into position for becoming RPs. No, he is. He is, in fact, sending out three Octos, one to each base. So, Crown Aberrant will find Titan before Titan finds Crown Aberrant. But, Crown Aberrant will probably be able to tell from which Octo comes in where Crown Aberrant is coming from, since his Akron will be able to spot this Octo here and he will be seeing this Octo coming into his base here. So that should be able to let him know what's going on completely. And Kaiden, on the other hand, is going to be... Let's see here, he has the Octopod coming up, and that we will defend against the Octos coming in. So Kaiden now going for a very quick Octopod defense, rather than waiting a long time like the last game between Jay Raccoon. And... Guardian now going over to the northeast side of the map, so I don't know if Kitan is aware yet of where Cronabrant is. We see at the present that Cronabrant has... He has found Kitan. Kitan has not... Or, sorry, Kitan's aware of this, so Kitan has seen what's going on now, and will be moving the Articus forward to deal with that. While Faro and Seppi are coming up here, and this is the Faro and Seppi we saw before, Cronabrant setting up his economy. Although it looks like they were standing... Were they standing up? I think it's just that it hasn't propagated yet. So, we haven't seen the economy being built up yet. But it will be. So Kaiden has himself nicely set up. This is actually further than in the past anyway. So both players just reviewing. Kaiden keeping his Guardian Akron at home. And Kron Aberrant has not moved his Akron at all. Or, no, he has. He is actually moving his Akron over to Kaiden's base to scout out. Won't do any good though, because the Octopod coming up very quickly. And... Yeah, unlike the game, the first game on Tomb of Heroes, we are going to be seeing both players having Octopods in each other's bases for several minutes. This Octopod... Or sorry, Akron's in each other's bases. This Octopod will be able to defend against that, stop that Akron from coming in, possibly kill it off. Probably won't permanently kill it off. And no, actually, Kitan is assaulting with the Octopod, which should make sense. He seems to like to do that. But yeah, Kitan assaulting with that Octopod. And that will be... Now, that will be useful, I suppose, if it gets in. I mean, won't hit the Akron, mind you. But if the Akron gets echoed out, then it's still going to be right there in the main base to deal with everything here. And right now, Crown Aberrant hasn't actually built anything. He has no defenses whatsoever. He has enough money he can build an Octopod if he wants to. And he's not actually doing so. He's just getting more and more RPs. I don't think he expects a quick Octopod Assault. And really, why would he, though? Kitan... Is Kitan still going for that? Kitan, from his point of view, I think he's still going for that. He thinks he's still going for that. And Crown Aberrant, however is about two minutes down from there, and I, and Kitan does not have a lot of resources at this point in time. Certainly not enough for an Octopod, so I'm a bit concerned as what exactly is going on here, but I think that he is going to be... I think he's going to be losing that, so we'll see. But anyway, Akron coming up here, and... no Octopod in sight. So yeah, it looks like Kitan has accidentally echoed out that Octopod. I have really no idea why. 
That was actually a really good assault. I mean, that was a really well-timed assault. If he kept it in, he would have had a really easy time just tearing apart everything that Cronaver had. He probably would have won the game right there. But instead, he's not. I'm kind of surprised at that. I wonder what was going through his head at the time. I really, I'm kind of wish he was in the channel right now watching this because I don't know what he was thinking since it seemed like that was a really good idea. I, I might have missed something, but he was taking care of that the Akron. He was dealing a lot of damage in this base, so I don't really see what the problem is. And it looks like Cronaver very quickly getting a Sepi and Faro pair for expansion, probably over to the northeast or to the north expansions here. And Kitan sending his Akron after. Kron Aberrant to try to see what's going on. And the Faro and Sebi will be able to intercept it. I don't know if this will matter. I th I'm not even sure if they will intercept it, to be honest. But it looks like Kron Aberrant sending an Octo as well. Sending an Octo Assault Force now. I'm not sure if he's trying to intercept the Akron here. If he is, that would be really neat. If he actually manages to intercept that Akron with the Octos, but I don't think he can. I think they're moving at the same rate. Yes, they appear to be moving at about the same speed. So the Octo's not quite able to get in and take out that Akron as it runs away. And it looks like Kaiden is no longer trying to do that. He is moving his Octos further up. Might be actually expanding with them, or might just be setting up another assault. No, he's setting up another assault. Trying to attack the main base. Possibly intercept it, but I'll, he won't be able to intercept that by then. And not sure why he's... Oh, there he is. I was going to say, not sure why he's building more economy. And that's why, because he has to actually build it. Yes, but he does have hardly any chrono energy left. He probably should jump towards the present building up more and more. Carnivore's point of view, we see the Octos have come in, dealing damage to the other Octo here, but the pair of Octos will be enough. Carnivore might be setting up more Octos for Defense Force. That's about it, though. No Octobots coming up yet, but an Octobot could be purchased, but no, it is not. Another Octo being purchased, so he will be able to defend against the Octos, maybe. He will be able to kill at least one of the Octos, but if he can kill both of them, that kind of depends on the positioning the angle. There's going to be a lot of finicky little things that'll determine which one wins out, but Cronover does have a secondary triad. This is really important, though. The secondary triad is going to be quite important for later in the game. Even if he loses the main base, he still has this. And if he gets chronoporting, it's going to be even more important, because it means that any base defense he can bootstrap from his now causally independent triad. And Parasep is coming up, so Kitan building up a nice little bubble wrap around his Akron. Cronover hasn't completely built a bubble wrap yet. He's built one reef, but not enough. Getting advanced structures, but not building up more reefs, and it looks like Kitan, well aware of the fact that he won't be able to really deal enough damage to Cronaver to make it worthwhile. Right now, however, he would be able to. Right now, would well, okay, he might be able to. Cronaver would have to stand up his progen triad, but he might actually be able to because, oh, and a dome coming up or trying to come up with the Akron getting in the way. Still, right now, although Kitan isn't aware of it, now would be the perfect time to attack. Like, or would have been, but now the dome is up. So at this point, Cronaver has a nice little defense from the back. He can't really get hit by air units from the back, and he can't easily get hit in any other way, really. So, Kaiden is got his own bubble wrap as well, but no domes or anything, no advanced structures either, and a massive RP boost. So, Kaiden right now has a much stronger economy than Kron Aberrant, but Kron Aberrant is... Okay, here we go. Kaiden actually going for that attack at the exact time that I mentioned. Nicely done. So, Kron Aberrant taking a lot of damage here, and this Akron... Getting dealt a lot of damage. Carnivore not standing up his triad. Why is he not standing up this triad? He needs to get these guys into position to defend. But no, he's losing his Akron. I think Carnivore has lost the game here. He may have lost his Akron completely. Trying to run it away, but not. His only bet would have been to stand up these triad, and his Akron is dead. His Akron is dead where he can see it, and he's not standing up his triad here. So that is game. Very, very quick game. I did not expect that to go so fast but anyway i hope you enjoyed that of one more before i end for tonight so stay tuned and it'll be back shortly